All right, the first thing I'm going to say is, my God, am I ever glad I've got back to playing this game. I didn't realize how much I miss it. Oh, I just have been focused on other things, and I was like, well, yeah. anyways, it's just, it feels so wonderful. Okay. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them all, I hope. So the red um, areas uh, are... Um, battles that or conflicts I certainly want to uh, positions I want to take I think like obviously I'm just looking at the Austro-Hungarians here remember anything um, west of the Vizloka here it's under um, German control everybody else here for the central powers is under um, Austro-Hungarian control even the Germans I've got a couple of German brigades over here all right so that being said I've Done the re I've done some uh, reinforcements, I did the replacements, I haven't moved everybody around. This is where I'm getting into, doesn't, I'm not, sh I'm not s look, what it gets down to for me is I'm starting to clue in that uh, what the game designer for this game uh, system wanted to represent or model is not exactly what I want to do. And so it's breaking down, it's not, its fault it's just not doing what I would like to do I'm really into the command and control and also I'm starting to really get monstrously into the logistics uh, bits that being said let's take a look here I gotta look on the other side haven't so I think you can see these plain wooden ones these are um, conflicts I would uh, areas of opera conflicts of opportunity I would like to take it it's not the end of the world this is mostly for pride just to get back the border bit here this one though I know it's a railhead for the Russians from my limited intelligence I don't think I think they've only got a couple of Opal Cheney brigades here so probably two strength points probably only need one hit to force a retreat my intelligence may be wrong I think they may have brought in some uh, they may have brought in reinforcements I wasn't paying attention that being said my primary focus, and I think I probably can take the Boog River Bridge. Finally, I think so. I think I've got enough. I've got enough uh, stuff here. I've got five strength uh, supply points. I can't supply everybody here. I've got over twenty. I think I'll get about twenty-one strength uh, attacking strength points to get across the river. The beautiful thing is, is that I bit. I got that flipping area around the river here, around the Boog River. So that way, uh, oh, it's like member man. This is this is my narrative beyond narratives beyond narratives um so we're probably gonna i think have a uh i'm pretty sure i'll try to keep that to last i think even though i'm <laughs> doing the austro or maybe i should go way up there but this has just been a sweetheart and a half uh geez i'll think about this this has just been um oh you have no idea like uh, i've got um uh, it's yeah it's, it's monstrous monstrous I'm pretty darn sure the Austro-Hungarians could probably take the bridge take like take the Boog, uh, Boog River Bridge holy moly we'll see we'll see um, that being said the area of opportunity and I was like oh my goodness I can do this they're unsupplied I'm gonna need everybody all the supply I can to get here but the fifth uh, core here if I can just move my troops on over here I can then swap on over the um, third army direct here and uh, bring them on over here to uh, to replace where he's from. That being said, I was like jeepers jumping. Okay, so you're asking me to move in four days. Let's take a look here. Just gonna look quickly. Remember, like I said, uh, it doesn't mean the game system is broken. It's just the way maybe my brain is working this way and. It's not the way to look at it. Sorry, hold on. I'm looking at the wrong books. So in four days' time, you're asking me to move. Okay, who's there? 20 kilometers that way. And I mean pick up sticks. It's not just troops here. I'm not talking like, okay, pick up your tent. You know, like there's a lot of stuff going on here, man. Uh, so uh, that's the 88th uh, KUK Infantry Brigade. The 31st Infantry Division. Remember, all the logistics involved, regardless of how many strength points are left. And the 108th Landwehr Brigade. So you're asking me to move those guys here to there and uh, get, 
get comfy kind of thing and then and mount an attack. And I'm getting asking these guys to move from there to there and they're probably just a Hotzendorf division. Hold on here. Number 38. Uh, nope, it's the 32nd Infantry Division, uh, but they've uh, they're been chopped in half. They've been pretty decimated. Then you're asking me to also move. Like I said, it's not the rule system. It's just the way my I want to go down that road. I was looking upstairs the game I traded for with um, the Grog Shed um, uh, home before the leaves fall or uh, the Myron campaign. I was like. I think I may get a bit of nitty gritty from that. We'll see. I, I like. I want to get into that crazy nitty gritty. I really do. Does uh, doesn't mean I'll ever play it, but I, I want to go and take a look. Big time. Okay. So that's the second infantry division, the twenty third infantry division, and the fourth infantry division. So you're asking me to move three infantry divisions, pick up their sticks, headquarters, the whole nine yards, uh, twenty kilometers over here, plop on down, and get ready for an attack. I'm just saying it yet again it doesn't mean this rules I'm just I'm having a problem due to the fact that my brain doesn't want to go down that road it wants to go down a different road uh, it wants to say no you just can't do those things um, especially when you're so close to um, um, if they were all part of the same command and control perhaps um, then you could but uh, it's like hmm I don't know, like I said, it's still, uh, I'll think about it, and that's why I'm talking to you guys about it as well. I mean, you could chime in and say, Chris, 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 you don't know a bloody thing about what you're talking about, command and control, logistics, the whole nine yards. Exactly, which would be great, because that's what I want to do. I want to learn. All right, this has just been the, oh my God. You have, um, well, you probably do, because uh, you guys enjoy uh, playing games. I will say this, uh, yep, I will talk about it again. I am, I'm thoroughly convinced if you're into military history or whatever, I don't think you're firing on, personally for me, if I was like, if I was not playing war, war games, um, I don't think I would be firing on all cylinders, uh, learning about like doing my military history, um, learning or exploration as far as I'm concerned. I think this is essential. This is integral. All right. Hope you're having fun. See ya.